I, I don't want to be one face of the group. Um, this is a community action. This is a community event. Um, and we're, we're trying to come together not only as a community with just, you know, bystanders in the community and things like that, but also the police force, things like that. We want to set an example for people everywhere um, that, you know, it is, it's okay to be peaceful, but it's also okay to take action and make change. And that's what we're here to do. We're here to let the agenda be known that some things are going to change. We want to set an example that, like I said, it can be peaceful. We can be out here all day hooping and hollering all we want that Black Lives Matter, but until something changes in the law system and the justice system, then it, you know, what are we really here for? So that's what we're here to do. And, you know, we want to rewrite some laws. We want to add some laws. We want to dismantle racism altogether um, and just do our best to fight against um, poli police brutality. Well, we just have to keep the momentum. I mean, I do love Aiken because for being such a small southern town, I love the fact we have two women of color on our city council. We have a lot of support if you look around and I think it's only growing, but I really hope we do not take our foot off the gas and we keep going. We're gonna help uh, get people registered to vote. So if you're not a registered voter, we're set up to help you get registered. And voting matters on so many ways. Number one, your vote is your voice. We need to hear these voices and we need to hear them louder. And by electing the right people, we can put more accountability in place. Um, I feel like we have a great police and fire department. If you look around, they're here supporting us, but we need to keep that. Um, and it needs to go higher than just Aiken. We have to have it on a state level and obviously a national level. And I find it heartbreaking that we don't have a president right now that is speaking out on this, that isn't trying to calm our fears and quelch any kind of violence going on. He's actually just throwing gasoline on the situation. What brings me out is the constant injustice out here. Uh, I actually have my own experience and it's hard and painful each day to be a black man. And to be honest, when I was in high school, I was thrown on the ground because I looked different and because I dressed nice. So the cop whispered in my ear that he know that I didn't do anything, but because I looked nice and depart, that he had to make a difference. And he threw me in mud and it was in front of the entire school. So I like was embarrassed publicly and he didn't care he he didn't they didn't do anything about it and anytime that something like this happens it pains me it really do. um the most rewarding part is just seeing that there are good people in the world there are good cops and you know we're not saying that not all lives matter it's just right now black lives have to matter in order for all lives to matter you know cops have to stand up with their communities and fight against br police brutality in order for us to say that there are good cops I'm out here today at the Black Lives Matter Aiken Movement because I am I am protesting the senseless acts of violence that keep happening to the black people of our country. It's important for me to be out here today because I have four brothers and when I see these senseless acts of violence, I think about my brothers and I think about what could possibly happen to them. You know, when I see what happens to George Floyd, I just say, you know, this could be my brothers, this could be my father, this could be my grandfather. So I feel like I have to be out here. You know, I have to do what's right. I don't want to see my brothers on TV. I don't want to see them being gunned down. I want to make sure that I can speak up so that my brothers can live in a safe and loving world.